There are two types of materials that table tennis balls can be made from. Celluloid and plastic. Celluloid balls were the standard until 2014 when they were replaced by plastic. The change was made due to the production issues and transportation costs associated with celluloid. In this article, I'll compare the differences between celluloid and plastic ping pong balls and explain why the transition was made and how this impacted the world of table tennis. The quick answer, plastic table tennis balls replaced celluloid table tennis balls as the standard in 2014. Plastic balls offer less spin and are slower than celluloid balls. The advantage of plastic balls is that they are less flammable compared to celluloid balls which were problematic to produce and transport. The two materials, before we jump into the comparisons, let's take a look at the characteristics of plastic and celluloid ping pong balls. Celluloid balls, celluloid table tennis balls were first introduced in 1900. As a replacement for other materials such as cork, the material celluloid itself was first developed in 1870 as a substitute for ivory. Celluloid was the first synthetic plastic materials and it is made from cellulose nitrate and camphor. Plastic balls, plastic table tennis balls began being phased into official competitions in 2014 and plastic has replaced celluloid as the standard material for making ping pong balls. However, Plastic balls were briefly trialed in the 1980s but they were quickly rejected by players who thought the quality was much poor compared to celluloid. Their revival came in 2014 due to the issues with celluloid balls. Physical differences So what are the physical differences between plastic and celluloid balls? Size Until 20 all table tennis balls were 1.5, 38 mm in diameter, but they changed to 1.57. 40 mm in this year which made the balls feel slower and meant they produced less spin. Celluloid balls have a size limit of 39.840 mm. Plastic balls are often referred to as poly balls or 40 plus balls. This was due to the slight increase in size compared to celluloid. Plastic balls can be 40 40.2 mm in diameter compared to celluloid balls which can be 39.840 mm. Seams, all celluloid table tennis balls have a seam. However, plastic balls can have a seam or be seamless. The seam is used to join two parts of the ball together. Seamless ping pong balls are manufactured as a single piece of material. Seamless ping pong balls have often been criticized for having poor durability and not being perfectly round. Density, plastic is a less dense material compared to celluloid. This means that plastic balls have to be slightly thicker or larger to weigh the same as celluloid balls. Here is a table showing the density of each material. How do the differences impact playing? So now we know the physical differences between celluloid and plastic ping pong balls. Let's discuss how this impacts how the ball moves in the air in response to the paddle. Speed, plastic table tennis balls move more slowly through the air than celluloid balls. The difference is minimal, but it's mostly due to the larger size of the plastic balls which creates more drag. Spin, plastic balls offer less spin compared to celluloid table tennis balls. The same study as quoted above by Lee et al found that plastic balls offer 3.37% less spin compared to celluloid balls. Before the balls hit the table, the plastic ball had a spin rating of 57.25 RPM, compared to the celluloid ball which had a rating of 59.82 RPM. The same result occurred when the ball had bounced, with the plastic ball having a spin rating of 46.30 RPM compared to the celluloid's 48.27 RPM. Bounce, plastic ping pong balls bounce higher than celluloid balls when comparing balls with a seam. However, there is some evidence to suggest the plastic balls which are seam less bounce the least. Most ping pong balls have a seam though, which is why plastic balls in general bounce higher than celluloid balls. Durability, celluloid table tennis balls are more durable than plastic balls. One of the main criticisms of plastic ping pong balls when they were initially introduced was that they deformed and split easily. However, since the introduction of ABS plastic balls, the durability of them has improved in the last few years. How does this affect playing style? Plastic table tennis balls generally suit fast attacking players who do not rely on spin. Celluloid table tennis balls suit players who rely more on backspin and topspin and usually play more defensively. The switch from celluloid to plastic balls was favored by fast attackers but was an issue for players who prefer to use spin. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.